Hello friends on the internet. Today, I'm going to show you how to share your Netmode VP in internet connection with other devices without the use of third-party applications. If you're tired of relying on additional software to share your Netmode VP in connection, then you're watching the right tutorial that will teach you how to seamlessly share your Netmode VPN internet connection to unlock a whole new world of secure and private browsing on multiple devices. In my previous videos, I demonstrated how to share VPN internet with other devices without using third-party applications in HTTP custom and Napsternet VPN application. If you missed them, check out the video description for the links. Before we proceed with the tutorial, I urge you to take a moment and hit the subscribe button below. By doing so, you will be able to stay updated with the latest information and be a part of our community. Now that you have subscribed, let's jump right in and get started. To set up Netmode VPN connection on your mobile device, first, draw up the control panel at the top of your screen and turn on your mobile data and personal hotspot. Then, open the Netmode application on your phone. Tap on the burger menu at the top left corner of the application window to open the slide menu. From the slide menu, select the settings option. In the settings window, you will see a section for proxy tethering. Under it, you will find a hint that reads, share the internet connection to Wi-Fi hotspot through proxy. Guide will be shown in log once VPN service started. To switch on proxy tethering, tap on the proxy tethering option. Then, tap on the backward arrow to return to the main window. Finally, tap on the play button to initiate the VPN connection. Once the VPN is connected, swipe left to open the log page. In the log, you will find the IP address and port provided by the VPN, which you can use on another device to access the VPN internet. Now that you have successfully set up the hotspot on the main device, let's proceed with connecting an Android device to it. On the second device, go to the phone settings and tap on Wi-Fi. Turn on Wi-Fi by tapping on the toggle switch. Wait for a few seconds for the phone to search for the hotspot shared from the main device. Once the phone finds the hotspot, tap on it and enter the hotspot password. After that, tap on the downward arrow button to open advanced options. From the drop-down menu, select proxy and then select manual. Scroll a bit to the top of the screen and fill in the HTTP proxy form with the HTTP address provided by the Netmode VPN on the main device. Please ensure that you do not use the SOX address while connecting VPN Internet Hotspot. Once you have entered the host name and the port, tap on Connect. Wait for a few seconds for the device to connect to the hotspot, as you can see here. If you have previously connected to the hotspot without a proxy address, Here's what you can do to connect to the VPN internet through the HTTP address. Once you turn on your Wi-Fi, it automatically connects to the hotspot. To configure the proxy address, press and hold the hotspot name for a second to bring up the drop-down menu. From the menu, select Modify. This will open a modal window, but you don't need to enter your password here. Instead, Tap the downward arrow button to access advanced options. Choose proxy and then select manual. Enter the HTTP address provided by Netmode VPN in the form. Once you have filled out the form, select connect. Finally, test the connection to make sure it's working correctly. Now, let's proceed with the steps on how to configure Netmode Proxy on Windows for users that want to connect to their Netmode VPN hotspot. First, open the Settings app either by pressing Windows plus I on your keyboard or by clicking on the Start menu and selecting Settings. 
In the Settings window, click on the Network and Internet option. Then, select the Proxy tab from the left-hand menu in the Network and Internet settings. Under the Manual Proxy Setup section, turn on the Use a Proxy Server switch. Enter the address and port of your proxy server. These details are given by NetMode in the Log session of the application. You have the option to use either this address or the other one, which is 192.168.43.1. Both addresses work perfectly. Once you have entered the proxy server information, click on the Save button to apply the changes. You can now proceed to connect your computer to the shared hotspot. Finally, open your internet browser to confirm if the connection is working properly. If you are using an iPhone or a Mac, kindly follow the instructions displayed on the screen. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and share it with others who could also benefit. See you soon.